Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and one more install. So today, as stated in the last video, we are going to be putting on the integrated engineering turbo inlet pipe. Let's check it out. Ooh, there it is right there. I know it's in the wrong spot right now. It goes down here, but it's out of the box. Comes with that silicone there. And it also includes this fancy adapter. The adapter actually is gonna go into the turbo first and then the inlet pipe is going to bolt to the adapter. They do that because there's other turbo applications out now for the V9. So if you have a hybrid or whatever, you can just get the correct adapter plate and you're good to go. I currently have the CTS intake as stated before. You already know that. Integrated uh, intake is on back order until about next month. So hoping to get that and then actually throw that in here. That'll look really nice because it'll have carbon fiber here, carbon fiber air box. I think that'll look really good. And then I think I'm gonna grab this thing in carbon fiber too. And uh, today we've got Archer. Yay! He is hanging out with me, helping me do this, you know, with all his thumbs and everything. And that right, buddy. But yeah, we've got this kind of torn apart so far. I pulled off the silicone from the CTS intake, the, uh, the filter. Gotta go ahead and pop this guy off, pop this up out of the way, pull the screws out. I've done this before. Um, I will kind of show you how to pull this off just in case you haven't seen it before pretty sure i did another video on actually installing this but if on the uh, on the off chance that i didn't i'll show you today all right i'm gonna get set up here and get started and uh yeah let's go so obviously first step will be to disconnect the airbox it's already done i've got the sensor here this is for my diverter valve you just push down pull it out gets it out of the way next is going to be pulling this thing off Pretty much just give it a firm pull to the front. It should come off. Should. It's gonna take two hands. I'll be back. All right, well that took all of like five minutes and a little bit of hand ache, but we got it off. You know, some of these have like clips on either side where you can press it and pull it off. This is not like that. You kind of have to, you kind of have to get it started down at the bottom and wiggle it, and turn it, and eventually, eventually it becomes unclipped. Um, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get this top bolt. That's the easy one. The hard one is uh, right there. And there you have it. CTS one is out, as you can see. There is a small clip at the bottom, which is right here. And this is one of those pressure clips I was telling you about. You basically squeeze on both sides, it opens it up and allows you to pull the inlet out. One thing I like about the CTS inlet is that, as you can see, that bolt's still there because the bottom is actually grooved. And I'm sure they thought about this just to kind of make it user friendly. So you basically get that, that bolt started, lower it, the groove down over the bolt, put the top bolt in, make sure the bottom bolt's tight and then you're done. That is it for pulling the CTS one out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this bolt out now. It's like the longest bolt ever. It's a spinny thing. So I'm gonna grab the adapter plate. Uh, make sure when you're installing this, you put the O-rings on against the turbo housing and on the outside against the new inlet pipe. Also, as far as accessing everything in here, this harness does kind of run underneath of it. So right here, I just pulled this off of this bolt that it just sits right on there and holds it in place that kind of gets everything loose and gives you enough access to wiggle it around and get in there and get it out as you can see we've got the adapter plate on it does only go one way so if you take a look at it here let's use that line that is the way that it goes don't forget the o-ring don't forget the o-ring don't forget the o-ring these two recessed allen keys they were a five millimeter next step put this o-ring in install the turbo inlet pipe while doing so don't forget to reconnect that hose this one you can wait until the end just leave it up out of the way i'm going to start with the top bolt because obviously it's going to be the easiest and then the bottom bolt down here it's probably going to be a nightmare as per usual all right guys, after much, much frustration, the bottom bolt is in. Let me show you the special tool I made to get to that bottom bolt. So this is a quarter inch wrench, super glued and duct taped. It worked perfectly. I did, however, have to put my finger down here and just ever so slightly give it gentle, gentle turns. 
uh, until it was far enough in that I could actually seat that tool down in that spot because in between here and here, there's not a ton of room. Now I imagine if you had a four millimeter ball Allen, that probably would work from a certain angle, maybe, but it's tight down there. So don't give up, just, just you know, push forward, keep going. So now I've got this going back on and also, I did move this bracket out of the way. Uh, this goes and bolts here. This is for my diverter valve. So if you don't have the diverter valve, you don't have to worry about this. All right, so that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and get the silicone pipe installed, get the air filter back on to the intake and uh, engine cover back on, and we're gold. All right, check it out, guys. We are done. So when I talked to Tyler, the integrated engineer, he wasn't 100%, and obviously, you know, they don't want to guarantee that any other intakes don't fit. Um, the instructions does say that you should use their carbon fiber intake, which, again, is going to be coming. If you want to run a straight open air like the CTS, you can use the integrated engineering turbo inlet. So again, I used their silicone hose, the hose clamps they supplied, and I simply uh, put the filter on and tightened it up. It's on there really well. It's not going anywhere. The only thing I noticed is that the CTS sheet shield is now pulled back a little bit further. But I don't expect there to be any issues with closing the hood. Obviously, when I close it down, I will make sure because, I mean, it does stick up just a little bit. But, again, I, I don't think it's going to hit. So, I think we're good to go. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw the engine cover back on and uh, finish this video up. It's kind of late and uh, I'm ready to go to sleep. All right, that's it for this video. The engine cover does still fit, barely, because this thing is a beast. You can see the IE logo right there. thought about painting this. I might take it off and have it Cerakoted or something. I think it would be kind of cool in black. And then maybe do the I and the E in purple or their green color or something. I don't know. I think it would be kind of neat. But yeah, let's see if this hood closes all right. Seems to be okay. seems well. Did it move? Uh, I will note though, see this line? This is from the intake previously being installed. One of the guys that integrated pointed that out to me while I was at Fix Fest, so it's pretty disappointing. Definitely wish I would have known about that prior to installing it, but hey, it is what it is. You guys know about it now. But there she is. So we've got the integrated turbo inlet pipe installed. Everything went pretty smooth overall, not bad. Thanks everyone for uh, checking out this video as well. Again, this was the integrated engineering turbo inlet pipe install. Big shout out to integrated for joining me on the channel. Of course, you know, thanks again. More parts to come in the future. Stay tuned for the next video with the 034 strut brace install. Uh, I've heard really good things about that as well. I heard like people notice immediate difference uh, in driving characteristics. So looking forward to putting that on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm always open to answer. All right. See y'all next time. Stay safe.